We are moving on to Kenya Toba Hive. And the Kenya Toba Hive, we have to slant the end, the bottom. So we are doing that, you see it on there. We are measuring 15 inches from the end to this end. 15 inches. And I we take two and a half inches at the bottom, two and a half inches from that place and two and a half inches from this place. So you get ten inches at the bottom. size of it the top is 15 inches and the bottom is 10 inches yes he's now going to make the sides yes that's where the two ends and this is the two ends so he's going to cut the other ends Twenty-seven. Yes. Yes. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven inches. Yes. Um, you have to cut another the size of it. That is twenty-seven inches. Two of it. It should be three. This will be the size and this will be the bottom. So it's also 27, 27 inches. At first we're measuring uh, three feet or 36 inches, but we have reduced the size to 27 inches because everybody lack cheap work. The bees have to coat the hives with um, propolis and if it is too big for them they feel the work is too hard for them so you're saying that they will they w would they abandon the hive if it is too big if there's too much work they will they will abandon the hive um yes they will like um the to work on a small in the small point. hive okay because the work in the small hive will be easier for them than the bigger hive because and they can start making the honey and early. everything quicker quicker very good Okay. That is it. Okay. So we are now starting nailing it. He's cutting a hole for the bees, the entrance. So one and a half inches from the end, yes, then you take three inches, yeah, half inch, mm, half, half inch, inch, half inch, okay. So you say about three or four inches from the side, yes, and then half inch, half inch, half inch from the end, from the bottom of bottom. it. We are going to nail one inch nail to set it apart from each other so that no pest can enter into the hive. Okay. The bees will pass through this hole into the um into the hive you have to cut some stick and put it here to hang the top bars on it one on this side one on this side it must be 24 and a half inches 24 and a half inches 24 and a half inches the top bars 
is placed here, the comb is going to be hung. The, um, this must be baited. After baiting, you put the top bars on it. So we have to bait. We have to beat the top bars. Okay. We are finished with the top bar. We have fixed the top bar already, so we have to um, cover it with iron sheets to prevent to prevent the rains. Okay, when you prevent a do it like this, you put on a heavy block or anything heavy to prevent it from falling. We finish with the. Um, Kenya Toba Hive. This is called Kenya Toba Hive. It's finished. Thank you. As this Sopon Toba Hive. Toba, Sopon Toba Hive, you don't ship it. It's rectangular. And uh, we just L want to use Sopon Toba Hive more than the Kenya Toba because you get the amount of honey you get will be more than the Kenya Toba because when it, it, it is stranded it reduce some um, some sizes of the honey at the size of the comb and when the size of the comb is reduced the amount of the comb uh, the amount of the Honey is reduced. The construction of the hive is very similar to the Kenya top bar. Toba is so the measurements similar. are, other than the bottom, it is still the same. The same at the top. So the it is 15, 15, 15. and the length 15, is 20, uh, 20, uh, 27. Is, uh, is 27, 27 inches. And then the way that you construct the top bar and everything, everything is the same. It's the same. Everything is the same. Okay, so here are the three types of hives that we've discussed. Your clay hive, which has the bigger bottom and the smaller top, where you harvest from the top. Next is the Kenya top bar, which is more widely used for beekeeping, where it goes in a little towards the bottom, kind of mimicking the shape of combs and you have the top bars to remove the combs to harvest the honey. And finally, the Sopong Hive, which is very similar to the Kenyan, except as you see, it doesn't taper off at the bottom. It remains um, more of a rectangle shape. So these are the three types of hives. Um, the reason you would use maybe a Sopong instead of a Kenyan top bar is because you can harvest more honey this way because it doesn't taper off like this one does. However, you can also add the sopong to the top of the Kenyan top bar, which then creates what is called a super langstrom. And what this does is it mimics the idea we have in the clay pot hive. All of the brood will be down here and then the spacing of the top bars here will allow the workers to go up to the second level, but not the queen. Therefore, this entire top part will be honey, and you can harvest all of that. So those are your different options of hives for beekeeping. No. Make all of these hives. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, make <laughs> can we Bye, corn dog. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you doing right now? He's baiting. <laughs>